So what do we have here, babe? What happened? Ah, staying warm. Their outdoor wood boiler. Woo! Just when you think you can't get any sexier, I tell you. Awesome stuff. Okay, well, it's technology month, and uh, when I'm doing stuff with technology here in October, November, every year I try to make little improvements that can make life a little easier and a little better with technology just to save you a buck and make your life easier. So one of those things we're doing this year, got a Google Nest Thermometer, and we also have Smart Switch. Now this hooks up for any high power switch. I'm gonna use this for a water heater. And basically these are Wi-Fi controlled. So now I can go on my phone and I can turn the temperature of a house up or down from you know anywhere in the world. Same with being able to turn a water heater on and off from anywhere in the world. So when you're running Airbnbs, for example, the people leave on a Sunday night, well, there's no reason to heat the house or run the air conditioning between Sunday and Thursday if nobody's gonna be there. Drop the temperature and turn the water heater off. Boom, now you're saving your money on utilities times every time you do that, and it takes seconds to do it on a phone. You can even set it up on a schedule. So, you know, when the meat man here comes walking in the door for whatever reason, boom, the temperature kicks on and warms him up, and then when he leaves the room, it turns back off. So, it's a fancy little thing to have. Saves you some trouble, and well, let me show you how this works and get this hooked up and I'll give you a run through. Okay. So part of technology month over here is to make improvements to our systems all around any way we can and anything that's going to help make our lives a little better, a little easier. Obviously, technology is the way to go. So with our do one little thing to our boiler and heating system every year improvement, this is one of them. So we are adding a Wi-Fi switch to our water heater here. You really notice it when you have a propane water heater because it keeps kicking on and off. And it's like, I'm sitting here. It seems like every four hours or so you hear the system fire up and it's like, I haven't used the water in days. Why does it keep firing up? And you just hear dollars going out the window. So that is going to be our improvement in adding some stuff. We did add a Wi-Fi thermostat here and oh my God, it is amazing to control that because I could shut everything off and keep the heat down. So, and this whole system in general, there's a whole bunch of videos on how this radiant floor heating system works along with our outdoor wood boiler. But for now, let's keep adding this switch here. So let's get this open. Ox will come over here and do this. Really pretty simple stuff. You end up with a fancy switch. And on the back, you have your, your load coming in on one side and here and here. And then you have your water heater here and here. It's a piece of cake. So we're going to take this apart. We'll mount this switch over here. We'll run a new wire over to tap into this and hook this up. And then I'll show you how this works. Okay, so when you're putting on your switch, make sure you have your mounting plate in there first before you wire it up or you're gonna have to take it all apart. Also, it goes a certain direction, so you might wanna make sure you orientate that the correct way. Okay, well, we have this all in and installed. Basically, all I have to do is flick the breaker on, power will come to here. And what I did is instead of cutting the wire, I was able to push the wire back in the wall so I have this long length of wire and then I just added a new wire to here. So if I ever have a problem and I have to change this, I didn't shorten my wire and stiff myself later. So that long wire is still there. Uh, make sure you use the right gauge wires when you're doing this. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to do? Okay, from now, we download the app on our phone. It's really pretty simple. And then we turn the breaker on. We make sure everything pairs up with the phone and then we can go on. I will go on my GoPro here in a minute to show you how I do it on my phone. So let me get everything powered up here. And in the meantime, aside from being able to do it with the phone, that'll light up and I can do it with that. Okay, so now the moment of truth. We have our app loaded. We're all set to go with that. Hey, look at that. Woo! How cool is that? You just push a button. And I think it's that instant going from here to the Wi-Fi to a satellite back down to, to the Wi-Fi to the switch. So also, all I gotta do is touch that and it will turn it on. So even touching that is telling me on the phone. That is just cool stuff. Technology folks, make your improvements. Okay, so here is our Nest thermostat inside. We turn this on and all we have to do, is scroll that up. That kicks on, that turns on. How cool is that? All right, so now that we have that running, all we have to do is go into the phone here, go into this home, and this is our thermostat. See, we're running 60 degrees. Actually, it's showing 60 in the house. We turn that on in two seconds. That turns red. 
course. It's only because I'm trying to do something. There it is. And the pumps, I just heard them kick on. So just by doing that, now I'm kicking these pumps on with my Wi-Fi thermostat. So that's two things now that are running all for my phone. And we can control it whatever we need. We have our outdoor wood boiler going, and that's going to bring heat through here. That's just awesome. Really, really cool stuff. If you learned one thing, like and subscribe, because we're going to teach you more stuff all along. you got to keep following. Okay, so our new switch came. This one is a temperature and humidity Wi-Fi switch. So what we're going to do with this particular switch is we are going to tie this in with this circulator pump, which runs our boiler from outside. So I will be able to go on my phone and shut off just the boiler, the line from the boiler. And it has a little probe in here. Let's see, uh, let's open this up. And this probe is going to hook on the pipe and we'll be able to get exact temperature reading that we're looking for. So this is perfect. This will tell me exactly what the water temperature is running on and we'll hook it up however we want on here. And I will know, okay, it is 110 degrees coming in from outside and it's only 80 degrees in the house. We're still making heat. Now, if it flips over the other way, the water's coming in at 80 degrees and, you know, it's 82 degrees in the house. That means we're losing temperature. So shut the boiler off and that's it until you put more wood in the boiler and then we'll be running on electric or propane to offset that in the meantime. So that's kind of a big handy thing. It goes with all our switches. It's pretty neat to be able to turn this on and off, to be able to turn this on and off with what we need with the temperature of the house. Ah, technology is really making this cool. Okay, so now that we hooked this switch up here and it has our temperature probe hooked around our pipe, we downloaded our app here. And if you look, uh, oh, uh oh, let's go over. If you look up here, it says we're at 67, 66 degrees. And we have a switch here. If we just hit this little button. Uh, okay. There it goes. Kicks on and I can hear the circulator running. So now <laughs> I'm able to tell that this is running. And I'll be able to watch our temperature here move. Let's see how long it takes. Can't take too long, it's pretty cold. Or... Hmm. Oh, I feel the temperature already going up here. Yeah. There it goes. That's so cool. So our boiler's making heat and that tells us. So now I can watch that temperature. No, okay, we're adding heat or losing heat to the system. Man, this is cool stuff. This is really cool. So this one here is tied in with this. So I can click on here as well. And right now our water heater is off, but cool. So that's turning that on and off. And if I come back here, two-way temperature and humidity switch. Boom, that's telling us our water's coming in at 93 now. And if I want to turn that off, boom, turns it right off. Turn it back on. Done. And it gives me another switch. So I still have yet again another switch if I want to add another switch to something. Probably, okay. Because of that, I'm probably going to be able to add a dampener outside or something to where I can control what's going on with the boiler with another switch. So just having that other switch, uh, geez, maybe with that other switch, I might be able to control the power feeding this thing to turn this one on and off. And that might save me the trouble there, just turning the other propane back up on off of that switch. So that's an easy wire in too, just to tie that one in for that. That's pretty cool. I like this stuff, man. Uh, that, that's... I think what I'm going to do right now for that one is tie that in with this so I can kick this on. And then put something else outside separate. Hmm. All these things are running through my head. How do I do this? What do I want to do? Now, like, okay, I can put this, 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 and this system together. And I'm sure in the near future I'm going to have all these systems put together in one package to read them all. So far, so good. Now, as we come in here and we see what this is doing, if we come out of here and go into our Google Home... We see that this is set at 63 in the house, but we know we're now bringing heat in here. 
So if we kick this on, let me get so you can see this, and I'll just scroll this up to 71, that'll turn red. And that circulator just kicked on. So now, boiler heat's coming in here, through this and back out, and now inside loop is coming through this, cold here, coming out hot here, and we're making heat. I could feel that's already warm, and that's, oh man, that's frigid. It's working, it's working, this is great. Great stuff when you figure this out and come up with your own system, and I highly encourage you to do it. It's a work in figuring it out, but it's just pretty neat, especially the fact that we're able to computerize all this now. And who would have thought adding computer technology and Wi-Fi stuff to this antiquated system from 20 years ago, That this is just cool. I'm loving it. So... If you got one thing, one good tip, one bit of information you learned, please subscribe. Please like, comment, anything you want. Glad to have you here. Stick around and follow along. Have a great day.